Hey everyone, once again, welcome back with our new course. So today course is about APIs. So how you can create your own API, how you can develop your own API. For example, someone asked you to give me the access of oh, your application API. So how you can develop your API and what we are going to cover in this course. I'm going to shoot this step by step guys. So if you are new, uh, you are not familiar with the API, so you will also completely learn that how you can build the API for your application. So first we will understand that what is API. So this is quite confusing and I will explain it with the simpler one. Okay, first understand that what is an API, right? So I'm not going to give it read from the documentation or I'm going, not going to open anything like which is uh, API is quite confusing, right? I'm, I came with a simple picture, right? So let's see this picture. There is a user, right? Which is uh, ordering a tea or a coffee, right? And this one is a restaurant, or you can also say that it's a database. And this one is a middleman is called an API. So basically, API is a middleman which interact with the, with the front end which is user and also interact with the backend, which is a database, right? So uh, basically the API is a middleman which connects so front end and back end. That's it. It's pretty simple, right? So you don't need to worry about what is API. So API is very clear. Okay. And then we will learn that how we can uh, create API how to create different versions of API, right? Uh, for example, V1, V2, and V3, and so on. And I will also demonstrate the best practices for this API. Then third, how to generate API token for web or mobile apps. So how you can generate a uh, token uh, for your web apps or for the mobile apps. So it's uh, totally about how you can generate the API token for your web website or for mobile application. How to generate to API for SPA, single page application. It's a React, View or Angular, right? So we'll also learn that how we can generate the uh, APIs for these SPAs. Okay, and then here we will also learn that how we can authenticate to the API using Laravel Sanctum. So Laravel Sanctum is by default added in the Laravel and it's uh, featherweight and very light. And uh, it's uh, basically behind the scene, it's uh, using the OAuth token, right? And how to authorize uh, user. So we'll authenticate the user and after the authentication, we will also authorize the user, right? So we are going to cover a lot. We are going to uh, create an example uh, first and then we will uh, cover all of the stuff with the examples. I'm going to use the Postman client to test my APIs, right? So if you are not familiar with the Postman, basically the Postman is a client which is used to uh, test your APIs, right? Okay, this one is a postman.com. This one is the official website of Postman. So you can download it from here. And uh, this is pretty simple. You can download it uh, according to your operating system. Just click on this in your operating system and then this will be downloaded into your system and then you can install it to it's a very pretty basic steps like next FX and it will be installed. And then you can open this here and this application like open and this will be opened into your, uh, into your system, right? Okay, and we are going to also create a fresh installation of Laravel and then implement it step by step. We are going to create a CRUD app and then we will uh, secure these endpoints. We will also uh, specify that how we can access only specific user, for example, only logged in user task using API, not uh, using cookies, right? So you will learn a lot uh, in this course and uh, uh, stay tuned for the next video. So I will meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.